We are ready to get started with our strength training. I'm Jessica and I'm subbing in for Audra for today. So we're gonna start with just a little bit of a warm up. So we're gonna start with some gentle twists. So we're just gonna let our arms swing, let your hips move, let your knees move, loosen your back up just a little bit. Nice, one more little swing of those arms side to side, and then we're gonna bring it into some arms throwing across the chest. So one, one on top and then the other, just throw your arms in and out. Kind of get a sense of how are your shoulders feeling? How are your arms feeling? Where's your energy level at this morning? And then we're gonna take it into some nice big side bends. So one arm is gonna reach up and then the other and just take it into some nice dynamic work. Just moving side to side, just starting to warm up the spine in that other direction. You got it. Nice, one more reach each side or just even yourself out. And then we're just gonna take it into some empty bicep curls. So just bend your elbows, touch your shoulders. Awesome, and then we're gonna take it down into the wrist. So we're just gonna move our wrists in circles, go in one direction. Move your wrists in circles, go the other way. <clears throat> awesome, and then flick the fingers in and out. Fingers to the thumbs and just flick, get a little strength, wake those hands up. Give them a good shake and then hands are gonna find the hips and we're just gonna draw big giant circles with the hips, circle in one direction. Awesome, circle the other way. Cool, and then we're gonna take it down into our knees. So step your feet to a good distance that works good for you, and then we're just bopping the knees, bending the knees and straighten them a little bit. And then if you have knees that act a little mischievous, you might choose to stay here, but if this feels good and you want it, you're gonna take your knees and draw them in a couple of circles, go in one direction. If you're going in a seated variation from here, you're just gonna maybe swish your knees a little side to side and kick your legs out one at a time just to find a little movement in the knee joint, a little bit of movement in the hip joint. If you were circling your knees, go the other way. All right, and then we're gonna come back up to a standing position. Keep one big toe on the ground, heel lifted, circle your foot in one direction. Keep that big toe on the ground, circle your foot the other way. Nice, and then pick up that foot and give it a good point and flex. Awesome, and then set that foot down, other toe on the ground, heel lifted, circle your ankle in one direction. Circle your ankle the other way. And then pick up that foot and give it a couple of points in play. Nicely done, and then set that foot down, give everything a good shake, make sure all things are feeling good. We're gonna grab two heavy weights. It's gonna be bicep curls and a forward lunge. We're gonna go 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. So pick up your weights and I'll be working light weights the whole time just because I'm teaching. So I wanna be able to make sure I can talk with ease, but you choose the heaviest weights that feel good to you here. So it's gonna be a forward lunge, bicep curl, step back and stick with that right leg for 30 seconds. We got one minute on the clock and I'll tell you when to switch. So right leg is gonna be doing the stepping forward. Now, if you're choosing a seated variation, it's going to be a rear lunge. So you're gonna step one foot back and then bring it in. So that's gonna be the variation if you're going seated, but if you're in that standing position, it's gonna be a forward lunge. Step into that lunge, bicep curl, step it back in. You go with a nice, slow, controlled pace check your knees. If a forward lunge doesn't feel good, take it into a rear lunge, but slightly wide so you keep it nice and stable. You got it. Five seconds left with this leg and then we're gonna switch to the other side. If you're in a seated position, you're just gonna swivel your legs around. When you're ready, switch. Left foot's gonna step forward. Keep with that bicep curl. Beautiful, nice upright spine. Nice work. And time, awesome job. Okay, step one weight down, 
You might choose to switch to a lighter weight if you have any shoulder issues going on, but it's just gonna be a pass around the torso. So you're gonna pass that weight behind you, pass it around. So you're gonna make sure you have a good handhold before you release. It's gonna be 30 seconds in one direction, 30 seconds the other way. Keep a slight firmness in your abdomen. Go with as heavy a weight as you can handle here. But what we wanna to try to make sure is we're maintaining that nice, strong position. So if you're wobbling all over the place to pass that weight around, solidify your center. Pass that weight with control. Three more seconds and then we're gonna reverse directions. All right, when you're ready, start to go the other way. Everything else stays in nice control. Yes, beautiful. Five seconds left, you got this. And time, nicely done. Okay, grab your second weight, or if you're going super heavy weights, you might just hold it sideways. That'll be totally up to you. But it's gonna be a squat with an overhead press. So you'll position your legs in the squat that feels best to you. I like a slightly external rotation. Bend down, touch the ground, overhead press. So you're gonna think butt back, bend your knees, keep your chest and chin lifted, overhead press with the amount of weight that works good for you. If you like a seated variation, you're gonna stay in your seat, squeeze your butt, activate your thighs, overhead press. So you're waking up those getting up and out of the chair muscles. You can even reach down and touch the ground if that feels like a way to go, but you're gonna keep those legs nice and active the whole time. If you're in that supported position, you need a little bit of assist, hold on to your chair. One hand is gonna touch down, overhead press. You got it, nice work. You're already halfway there. Nice, you guys, that looks amazing, beautiful. And time, awesome job. Okay, we're gonna stick with those weights into a bent over row with a tricep kickback. So feet about hip or shoulder distance apart, butt back, hinge forward. We're gonna pull it up to the chest, kick it back, bend those elbows, lower it with control. Everything else is gonna stay as stable as it can. If you're going with a seated variation, you're gonna lean forward a little bit, pull it up to the chest, kick it back, bend the elbows, lower with control. So you keep that nice even spine, Kick it back, bring it in, lower with control. Nice. Keep a slight firmness in your abdomen or your belly muscles pulled in towards the spine a little bit so we keep the low back nice and supported. Five seconds left. And time, nicely done. Okay, stick with those weights. Now it's gonna be a standing chest press and a calf raise. So we're gonna load up at the chest, press out, bring it back in, calf raise, lower your heels. Press out, bring it back in, lift your heels, lower them down. If you like a seated variation, load up at the chest, press out, bring it in, lift your heels, lower them down. If you want just a little bit of extra work in that seated variation, when you lift the heels, you're gonna place your weights on the tops of the thighs. Yes, you got it, nice work. So we're just pressing out, bringing it in. If you want a little extra work in that standing variation, as you press the arms out, you're gonna add that little calf raise there as well. So you might double down on your calf raises, just totally depending on what you're in the mood for this morning.
Nice work, you guys. Beautiful, Robbie. That's awesome. Five seconds left. And time, awesome. All right, set one weight down. It's gonna be a single weight. It's a standing bicycle crunch. So opposite hand to opposite knee. We're gonna pull in and squeeze, set it right back down. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. You choose the weight that feels right to you here. Bring it across the midline of the body, squeeze and release. Nice, slow, controlled movements. So we work those abdominal muscles, squeeze in at the center, release it out, yes. Five seconds left and then we'll switch to the other side. All right, switch hands, switch feet. And then right away, we bring it across the midline of the body, hug it and squeeze and release with control. You got it. And time, nice job. Okay, that's one set done. Grab a sip of water and then we're gonna get back to it. So grab your water and then we'll meet right back up. <clears throat> okay, when you're ready, grab your weights. We're right back to those forward lunges with the bicep curl. So if you're doing that standing variation, right leg, bicep curl, step it back in. If you're doing the seated variation, Step your leg back, bicep curl, single hand or double hand. That's totally up to you when you're in the chair. So find the variation that works good for you. We got 30 seconds on that leg. Step forward or step back, whichever lunge works better for your body. Make sure it feels like a really nice, strong position, whichever way you choose. Five seconds left on this leg. All right, when you're ready, switch to the other side. Keep that bicep curl, curl going. If you're working from a seated variation, just swivel yourself around. And time, beautiful job. Okay, step one weight down. It's gonna be that pass around the torso. We're gonna get right to it. Passing around, 30 seconds in one direction, 30 seconds the other way. If you're going with a seated variation, you're gonna scoot your butt way forward to the front end of your chair best you can. Pass it around. It might create a little bit more of a bent elbow situation, but we do wanna keep a nice control here. Make sure you have your hand hold before you release the weight. Everything else is gonna stay as stable as it can. So upper body stays pretty stable. Hips stay nice and steady. All right, pass that weight in the other direction. Five seconds left. And time, beautiful job. Okay, grab that second weight. We're moving right into our squats with the overhead press. Assess here, notice how you're feeling. If you need to switch to a lighter weight, go ahead and do it. But if things are feeling good, you find the width of your stance that works best for you. That might mean hip width distance apart, toes and knees pointing forward, slightly wider or any other place in between. Make sure that your legs feel strong, whichever variation you choose. But back bend your knees, you might touch the ground, press up and overhead. If you're in that seated variation, you're gonna activate those getting up and out of the chair muscles, reach down, touch the ground and overhead press. Keep those legs nice and active the whole time. Somewhere in between that might be sitting your butt down, give an overhead press, 
come back up to a standing position. So if you like that little variation, letting the chair support you midway, you got it. And time, awesome job. Okay, now we're back to that chest press with the calf raises. How many calf raises you choose to throw in there, that's just totally up to you. Feet about hip or shoulder distance apart, load up at the chest, press out, bring it in, lift your heels, lower them down. If you're going with that seated variation, press out, bring it in, lift your heels, lower it down. You can add a little bit of resistance there by placing your weights on your knees. Whichever version you choose, Make sure it's one you feel strong in. And time, nicely done. Okay, we're gonna take it into that bent over row with the tricep kickback. So hinge from your waist, lean forward with a nice long spine. Hug it up, kick it back, bend it in, lower it with control. So you think, scrape the elbows along the ribs, kick back, bring it in, lower with control. Everything else stays nice and stable. You bend over as far as feels good to your back. If you're gonna go with that seated variation, you're gonna lean forward a little bit, Bend, scrape the elbows, kick the arms back, bend, lower them with control. You choose the variation that feels good to you. Make sure your back feels comfortable with that position. Nice, Judy, that looks awesome. seconds left. You got this. And time. Nicely done. Okay, step one weight down. We're back to those standing bicycle crunches. So if you're going seated variation, it's going to be pick the knee up, cross the midline, set it down. Stick with that one foot side for 30 seconds, and then we'll switch the other way. You also have the option to do it standing, but with support. So you could place a hand on the chair, Hold on, control your balance, find that work in your center, a little crunch across, squeeze those abdominal muscles. Yes, you got it, nice. Three seconds left on this side. All right, when you're ready, switch hands, switch legs, right over to the other side. Seated or standing, you always have the option to hold on to something for a little support. So you find that work without having to just wiggle all over the place, finding your balance. And time, nice job. Okay, that's two sets done. Grab a sip of water. We got one more set to go. You guys are crushing it. Amazing work. All right, when you're ready, bring it back in. We got our last set to go. Back to those forward lunges with the bicep curl. Assess yourself here. 
How's everything feeling? Do you wanna to switch to a lighter weight? Do you wanna put the weights down altogether? Or is everything feeling super easy and you wanna level up and take the weights up a notch? Totally up to you. Step forward into your lunge, bicep curl, step it back. 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. Seated variation, you might choose just a single hand. Step your leg back into that lunge, bicep curl, step it back in. You choose the variation that works best for your body. You got it. All right, when you're ready, switch to the other leg. If you're in the seated variation, swivel your legs around. And time, nicely done. Okay, set one weight down. We're back to passing it around the torso. Now, if you feel like that was not quite enough work passing around the torso, you're gonna raise your heels, keep your heels lifted the whole time. That's gonna make you lock in that center. So you stabilize yourself, a nice controlled pass, passing it in one direction. We got 30 seconds on the clock. At that 30 second mark, I'll tell you to switch. If you like that little bit of added control, keep those heels lifted. Pass that weight around with a nice control of your center. Yes, you guys look awesome. Nice work. Five seconds left. All right, when you're ready, pass the other way. If you're in that seated variation, a little bit more of a bend in the elbow just to keep that pass fluid, passing it behind you passing it in front of you. You can also keep your heels lifted the whole time there if you want that bit of control. Ten seconds left. And time. Beautiful job. Okay, now we're back to that squat with the overhead press. Check yourself here. Ask yourself, is it better to go with a lighter weight or a heavier weight or no weights at all? You're still gonna get plenty of work. Choose the width of your squat that feels the strongest to you. Butt back, bend your knees, overhead press. We got one minute on the clock. You go as fast or as slow as feels right to you. You wanna make sure that you're not just flinging your body around. So everything should be strong and controlled. If your knees have a tendency to collapse in, check your inner thighs. Think about driving your knees towards your pinky toes as you sink into that squat. Thirteen seconds left. You got this. And time. Nicely done. Okay, now choose your own adventure with how much weight you're going to use. But we're back to that bent over row with the tricep kickback. So bend yourself forward. Scrape the elbows along the ribs. Kick back. Get that little squeeze in the back of the arms. Bend your elbows lower with control. We got one minute on the clock. Go at a pace that feels good to you. Make sure it feels strong. Your back feels stable. Your belly feels firm. Legs are nice and strong to help support your structure. But most of the work is coming out of the shoulders, triceps, and the upper back body. Halfway there, if you're going a single arm, switch to the other side.
You got it, 10 seconds left. And time, nicely done. Come on up, shake everything out. Now we're back to that chest press with the calf raises. If you're doing that seated variation, load up at the chest, press out, load up at the knees, lift your heels. Standing variation, press out from the chest, stay loaded at the chest, lift your heels. If you're going bench, just make sure you keep your ribs connected to the back of your bench, belly nice and firm, so most of the work is coming from the upper body and the chest. Press out, load up at the chest, lift your heels, you got it. If you want that little extra in that standing variation, as you press out, hold that out, lift your heels, add that nut, add that second calf raise just for fun. Ten seconds left. You got this. And time. Nicely done. Okay, step one weight down. Back to those bicycle crunches to finish. Standing version, seated version. You could even go down onto your back if you want to. But one arm is loaded. Meet in the middle. Crunch across the midline of the body. We got 30 seconds on the clock. You take it at your pace. You also have the option to hold onto a wall, hold onto a chair, give yourself some support so that you can focus on finding your work in your center without struggling with your balance. Ten seconds left. All right, when you're ready, switch hands, switch legs, right into the other side. Same thing here. You have the option to sit down, use a wall for a little bit of support. And time, nice job. Set your weights down. Grab the last sip of water, and then we'll stretch it out. You guys are awesome. Nice work. All right, once you've got your space cleared, we're gonna take it into our final stretch. Make sure your weights and everything's out of the way. Take a nice big breath. Reach your arms up. We're gonna hook the thumbs, so a little hook of the thumbs. Pull the thumbs apart, take a side bend one way, keep pulling the thumbs slightly apart. One more breath. Tug on those thumbs, come to center, keep the thumbs pulling apart, lean over the other way. Lift back up and now we're gonna catch hold of the back of the arms, so the elbow pit, so reach across. Grab your elbow pit. Once you've got your elbow pit grab, drop your ear away from that shoulder. So the hand that's holding the arm, the arm, that's where we're dropping the ear away from. If it feels good to do so, gently nod your head up and down. Nice, and then bring your head to center, release, switch to the other side, grab hold of your elbow pit. Once you've got your hand hold, drop your ear away from the shoulder. If it feels good to do so, nod your head up and down. Awesome, head comes back to center, release your hold, shrug out your shoulders. And now we're gonna see if we can catch hold of a foot. So you can use a hand hold, a wall or a chair, whatever feels right. But we're gonna see if we can pick up the right foot, hug your heel in towards your butt, Hug your knee in towards your knee and then think hips forward slightly, heart lifted slightly. Mm -hmm. 
wonderful with control release that foot so it's not going to ricochet it's just going to set down with control switch over to the other side get a handhold if that feels like a way to go grab hold of that left foot knee in towards the knee heel in towards the butt hips forward heart slightly lifted Nice, with control, release your handhold from that foot. We're gonna take a nice big breath, reach the arms up and overhead, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down towards the ground, keep that super generous bend in the knees, and then keep that bent over position. We're just gonna lift the toes, lower the toes. Lift your toes, lower your toes. Lift your toes, lower your toes. And now we're gonna go toes and balls of the feet. So you're gonna lean back into the heels a little bit, so the toes and the balls of the feet lift, and then release them back down. Lift the toes and the balls of the feet and release them back down. Nice, one more just like that. Lift the toes and the balls of the feet, release them back down. And now we're gonna think sitting bones towards the ceiling. So imagine where your sit bones are. We're gonna lift the sit bones up towards the ceiling. We're not trying to straighten the legs. We're trying to lift the sit bones and then release. Lift your sitting bones up and then release. One more just like that. Lift your sitting bones up and then release, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, and we're gonna swim both hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, draw the knuckles down, and then the arms away from the back of the body, so we open up through the chest and the collarbones. Once you've got that opening, lift your chin up towards the ceiling. Return your head to neutral, unlace your hands, float both hands up and overhead. One more big breath here, bend your knees, Hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground, touch your ground or touch your toes, totally up to you. And then come halfway up. So hands are gonna find the shins. Then walk your hands just to the hip creases, push into the hip creases, lengthen your spine so we make a nice little seven shape with the body. Awesome, soften that position, bend your knees, lift from the top of your head, come up. You guys are awesome. Thank you for playing with me, even though Audra wasn't here today.